If you are not investing in the Super Magnet Enchant in Pet Simulator 99 right now, you are potentially missing out on a ton of profit that you can make when this next update comes. In this video, I'm going to talk about why I think that is, as well as the risks in investing in something like the Super Magnet Enchant, as well as go over what is happening in the market with this big deflation that we're seeing. And probably some other junk I'm going to yap about for 20 minutes. I am still having a ton of trouble with my PC, but hopefully by tomorrow it will finally be fixed and I can get back on the daily video schedule that I was on before. As well as that, my last final for the semester is on Tuesday. So after that, I'm going to try to do daily streams on Pet Simulator 99. So look forward to that. And if this video helped you with your investments in Pet Simulator 99, or you just like to hear me yap about nonsense for probably 20 minutes or so, like the video and subscribe to the channel because we do this kind of stuff all the time. So why not sub? Let's get right into it though, because I am done yapping and we need to make some diamonds. All right, you guys, to start off, we are seeing massive deflation right now in Pet Simulator 99. So if you have been paying attention to the market at all, you will have noticed that in the past few wrap updates, we've seen some huge drops in the wrap values of some of the most common huges. Those being the Wizard Westy, the Happy Rock, and the Happy Computer. All right, you guys, so if we pull up the wrap value of the huge Happy Computer on PS99wrap.com, we can see that the wrap value of the huge Happy Computer has fallen pretty much four wrap updates in a row. So it currently has not updated on the website, but the actual wrap value of this right now is 59.1 million so the price of this huge actually has dropped in the past four wrap updates so that's pretty significant and as well we can see the same pattern with the huge happy rock uh the happy rock is actually even cheaper than the happy computer right now and if we go down and actually look at the price of the happy rock it's actually dropped the past five wrap updates because of course it hasn't updated on the website yet but the drop on the huge happy rock is a little more gradual and it wasn't as steep as the happy computer now personally the reason that i think this deflation is happening is just because of the announcement of the update that is coming in one week from now so next saturday if you guys have been paying attention to the market we've seen some constant inflation for quite a bit now if we pull back the graph and look since the last update i believe the last update was on april 7th or so so somewhere around here is when the update happened and then we saw a little dip in the prices but ever since then we've only seen constant inflation so this is the actual first dip we've seen basically since the last update and when updates come out in pet simulator people often go ahead and sell off their cheap stuff because they're trying to earn enough diamonds so that they can be ready for whatever content might be added in the new update so that's why personally i think this deflation is just caused by that and people are just trying to stock up on some diamonds before the update that combined with the fact that we've had constant inflation basically since the update probably is contributing to why it is uh, kind of a significant deflation now i could go back and look at the graphs but we have not had a deflation period that has lasted i think more than 24 hours and quite a bit of time so the reason i'm saying this is that there is a potential that this deflation doesn't last too long but it definitely is not over because we've been sitting in this lobby for quite a while and these huges that are about 600k under the current wrap value have not sold in all of this time so we are definitely still Still seeing prices fall but i would just be careful and continue watching the market especially if you have sold off some of your huges or anything else like that all i can say is that it is about time we saw some deflation because this inflation was hitting like crazy i was waiting for a correction period for quite a while as prices seem to just only go up for the longest time so it's probably a good thing that we are seeing a bit of deflation now now let's talk about the super magnet enchant and why i think this could potentially actually be a very good investment for a lot of you guys to make and i do want to preface this by saying this is an extremely risky gamble of an investment because this investment relies solely on big games actually removing it from the exclusive shop on saturday 
Now, personally, on my two grinding accounts, I use the Super Magnet Enchant, and then I bought these two specifically just for investments for around 130 million. All right, so the reason why I think this could potentially be a great investment for the future is because the Super Magnet Enchant has became an essential part of most people's setup in Pet Simulator 99. And on top of that, big games can't really put out a new, better enchant for it because it already does what it's supposed to do in the best possible way. And because big games can't make a new super magnet enchant, basically, I think once this enchant does leave the shop for good, it will go up in value quite a bit because people actually do want to use this for their setups, and it is really good. Now, this enchant has been in the exclusive shop for two updates now, but the boss chest mimic has been in the exclusive shop for three updates now, so I'm kind of banking on the fact that they do end up removing all of these enchants that say last chance on them, and we get three new enchants in this update. Now, we haven't gotten any new leaks or anything that does suggest that we are getting any new exclusive enchants, so this is all purely speculation and why I say this is a risky gamble. And the other reason why this might be a risky gamble is that I think this enchant could potentially be in the forever pack. But I went through a couple of people's videos on opening this forever pack and I could not find them getting it from here. So I don't think that is going to be a major issue because other enchants like the boss chest mimic and the boss lucky block were pretty common in here, but no super magnet. So potentially that could not be an issue for this, but I'm just letting you guys know what I'm investing in because I know big games has been pretty money hungry lately. So there is a decently high chance that they do end up putting in some new exclusive enchants to the shop so that they can make some more Robux. But on the other side of that argument, they could just leave it in the exclusive shop for a while because they know people actually like this enchant and they are probably still buying it. But surely they don't do to us what they did with the boss chest mimic in the last update where they put this last chance wording and don't end up removing it. But you guys are going to have to make that decision for yourselves whether or not you think Big Games is going to remove it from the exclusive shop. But if they do end up removing it, I think we could see some big returns on that investment. And I have seen some people saying that it probably won't return a big investment because it's only 1200 Robux. And I would just like to remind you that the chest mimic enchant, which is now I think 1.5 billion, was 1200 Robux at one point. So clearly anything is possible, but I know there was not a lot of people that ended up buying this with Robux and that's why it is super expensive. But even the super shiny hunter, which was 1200 Robux is sitting at 437 million. And honestly, it is in kind of the same boat as the Super Magnet. But honestly, I think this has even more demand than the Super Shiny Hunter. So if the Super Shiny Hunter can sit at 437 million, I definitely think the Super Magnet can as well. Now, we also did get some leaks of some new active huges coming into the market. So I'm wondering if these active huge eggs would actually go up in price due to those new huges being in rotation. Personally, I'm not investing in these, but I could see the value of these going up as people want to get the new active huges once they get in the rotation. Just something I thought I would put out there and let you guys know. Now, my suggestion for the inflation that we are seeing is that once you guys see the prices of huges level off and basically stop going down or even go up, that's when you're going to want to start buying again. And honestly, if I were to pick any of these, I would probably go with the Happy Rock. Or if you could find some Wizard Westies pretty significantly below wrap, these would be a good investment. Because of course there's only 50,000 of these huge Wizard Westies compared to 800,000 of the Happy Rocks. So it's probably better that you just invest in the Westies over the Happy Rocks. Because long term these will probably go up in price more than the Happy Rocks. And finally, my last recommendation is that it might be a good time to pick up some of these sketch eggs. Because obviously there is the potential that we could get a new exclusive egg in the update. And of course this is just another gamble because we haven't gotten any new leaks about a new egg that is coming into the store. So we could see the sketch eggs stay in the exclusive shop through the next update.
But every time we do see the exclusive egg leave the shop, it usually ends up becoming the prices of the other released eggs. So if we look at the superhero egg compared to like the jelly egg or the fruit egg, the emoji egg, the superhero egg caught up in price pretty quickly. So these are some good investments if you can cop these right before they leave the exclusive shop. That is pretty much it for my recommendations though. I hope this video helped you. A lot of it is speculation right now and you guys are gonna have to make these decisions for yourself, but those are pretty much all of the points in what I'm investing in now. Remember to like the video if it did help you out. We will be discussing the deflation and other leaks and stuff that's coming in this new update in my Discord. Link is down in the description below. Make sure you're joined up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.